Okay, so anybody who knows me will know I'm a bit of a Star Wars fan. Uh, been into it since the day it came out in the UK, pretty much. Uh, collected the comics, got all the books. Yaddy, 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 like a million other people my age and younger uh, and older, I like Star Wars. So when it was announced that they were doing Solo a Star Wars story, uh, giving us a, a deeper insight into a young Han Solo, clearly, obviously, I was interested uh, for many reasons. Now, for me, that relationship of characters together uh, is so important. Uh, when I was a kid, I had a letter published in uh, Return of the Jedi Weekly writing about Lando. Uh, so Lando, as a consequence, has always been a character that's close to my heart. So, to the film, the current film, Solo a Star Wars Story, out in about six weeks' time, um, what did I think of the trailer? Because that's why I'm here, to talk about the trailer. I loved it. I think Old Meron Reich has uh, got the vibe and the feel of Solo. I think Donald Glover nails the look and nails the, the, the you know, the, the intensity and the, the coolness of the character. Um, everybody looks good. Everybody looks right. The effects are amazing. Uh, and it feels like it's going to be a caper. It's going to be an adventure, you know? It's going to be something that we can all dig into and really enjoy. But other than the effects and the music and all the other little elements, what gives me the confidence that they're going to get Han Solo so right? Well, when we... Well, I saw something on Twitter today that made me smile. It was somebody referred to Harrison Ford as being, eight, being born age 35, which I would imagine is probably, probably true. Uh, you know, you get the sense he's always been quite a serious guy. And Han has got that about him, and whilst there's a, a jovial edge to him, there's, there's a wit, obviously thing that came over in the trailer to me really strongly was the fact that Chewbacca is so present in the film. Uh, I think Eunice is doing a bang-up job of, of translating that to film in all eras. Uh, I mean, obviously, the little joke, you know, about him being 190 years old, something we've known since the 70s, but, you know, you see the moment Han realises that Chewie is the age that he is, uh, was brilliant. And I think, for me, uh, Han has been the, you know, he's the guts and he's the impulse and, and he's the of the moment guy but Chewie was always I saw uh, the brains and the heart and Chewie uh, probably kept Han more honest than maybe he would have been without him I think it's very underrated it's probably why it's such a criminal criminal thing that Chewie never got his medal for Yavin when he when he should have got it because Chewie keeps Han Solo honest and I'm hoping that you see that in this film so in short, and this is not short because I wrap it on, I think Solo A Star Wars Story is going to knock it out of the park. Um, in terms of box office, well, I mean, OK, maybe that's not the most important thing in the world, but I'm thinking it's probably going to do Rogue One numbers. Uh, coming off the back of Infinity War is not going to hurt it because people are, you know, in that blockbuster summer mood, which is why Star Wars always did so well in May. Uh, I'm anticipating good things for Solo A Star Wars Story, and I'll put my neck on the line and say I don't think this is the last time that we will see these actors in these roles uh, so get ready. I think Solo Star Wars Story is going to rock and the trailer did it for me and I'm a happy bunny.